Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, a couple of days ago Adopt Me has added this new feature to the game called Lures, and guys this update might actually be one of my favorite updates ever. It's just so cool. My lure is actually finished and I have not seen what's inside of it yet so I'll be showing you that soon. But for those who aren't familiar with Lures already, Lures can be purchased for 750 bucks as furniture inside your homes and by the name Lure you already know their purpose is to catch items and even pets. So here you can see all of the items you can receive inside the Lures with the campfire cookie bait, and yes guys, the pets are all the way at the bottom of the list with the lowest percentage so they are going to be pretty difficult to catch. And guys, this brings us back to today's video. So, I have been pretty lucky enough to find an aging potion and a magma great sword so far, but I haven't found any of the pets yet and I know many of you might be struggling to catch the new molten pets as well. So, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some methods tips and secrets to having a higher chance of catching one of the four new molten pets in Adopt Me, and together we are going to put them to the test to see which ones work. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe as I have so many fun videos like this planned for the future and you definitely don't want to miss out. Okay guys, let's begin. So guys, as you can see I have my flaming zebra next to me and isn't he adorable? He's literally on fire guys. So I'd just like to mention that you can't get the flaming zebra and ash zebra with the campfire cookie bait. You need to have the specific bait for them like I do. Of course these can only be obtained by trading now as the event to get them has ended. I just wanted to clarify that so you guys aren't trying to catch them with the campfire cookie bait. Okay it's time to go inside my house and see what's inside of my lure. I'm really excited. Oh, it's another magma great sword. I do have one of these already but they are super cool so you know. I don't mind having another one. But guys we didn't get a pet. So let's reveal the first method that could help us find more pets in our lures. So it's basically two words, alt accounts. So guys just think about it. We have to wait 4 hours to catch something in our lures with the campfire cookie bait. With the other baits like the flaming zebra bait for example, we only have to wait 30 minutes. But 4 hours can be a pretty long time to wait. But if you have 3 alt accounts for example, then you can set up lures in their homes too and therefore you are a lot more likely to find a pet inside your lures. If you don't find one in yours, maybe you'll find one inside one of your alt accounts. So you're maybe thinking, why can't I just have two lures in my home, or three or four? Well Adopt Me doesn't allow you to have more than one lure in your home. Even if you try to buy one in another house, you will still get the same one. But I haven't tried using the cloning tool that is used to clone furniture. I don't think this is going to work, but let's give it a try. It would be so cool if this works. Yes guys just as I expected, when I try to clone it nothing happens so I guess this doesn't work. The only way you can have another lure in your home is to buy the Cozy Home Lure Game Pass for 1200 Robux. In my opinion this isn't really necessary though because it doesn't give you a higher chance of obtaining a pet as you're still using the same bait, so you have the same chances, and if you want two or more lures to be active at the same time you can just buy another on an alt account. However, the cozy home lure does look super cute, so it's entirely your decision if you want to buy it or not, but I personally just think it's better to use alt accounts. Speaking of alt accounts, I have a lure that's finished right now on my alt account so let's head over there and see what we get. Okay guys here's my alt. I changed the outfit because yeah, we're not talking about what I was wearing before. Anyway, the lure is glowing and it looks like we might have actually found one of the pets. Now this is actually the first lure I've done on my alt, so if we get a pet on our first try that would be pretty crazy. Okay guys let's open it. Wow a toasty red panda. I've actually been trying to get this one and I love the detail on this pet, and I can't believe we actually got this on an alt account. Guys this just shows that using alts definitely gives you a higher chance of obtaining a pet. Okay guys, we got one of the new pets which is amazing but I still really want to try and get the legendary blazing lion because I've never actually seen one in person before, and, we have gotten one of the pets so let's really put this to the test and see if we can get the legendary. I think there is a very small chance of this happening but you never know. So I'm just going to wait for my lure and my alt's lure to finish, and yeah, we'll see if we will be lucky enough to find a blazing lion waiting for us under the box. 
I'll be right back guys. Okay guys my lure box is ready. And yes, we can already see bucks at the bottom which means that this time we unfortunately only received bucks. But we still need to check our alt accounts lure and hopefully there will be something better than bucks waiting for us. Do you guys think it will be a blazing lion? I mean, we did find a toasty red panda last time, but what are the chances of finding another pet? I don't know guys, let me know in the comments right now what you think we are going to find in the final lure. Okay, let's go. So I'm outside my alt account's house and I did not see what's inside the box, so I have no idea what we got. So I know we were already lucky enough to find a pet, so right now I would be happy with anything, just not bucks. It would also be pretty cool if I found something I haven't gotten before, but I guess we will just have to find out. Okay, let's go inside. Oh no guys, we've gotten bucks again. But it's okay, because we still have our toasty red panda and, I haven't seen many people have these because of how low the chances of obtaining them. Like the chance of getting this pet is even less than getting a legendary pet from the gumball machine, and you know how hard that can be sometimes. Okay guys, surprisingly we did end up finding some pretty good things inside the lures and I hope this video has helped you and gave you some tips on how to increase your chance of finding a molten pet. So if you have some alt accounts in Adopt Me, even if it's just one guys, it's definitely worth adding a lure inside their home too. As you never know, you might be lucky enough to find a pet just like you saw in this video. Also I would recommend even if you don't have the time to play Adopt Me, if you're wanting to find one of the new pets I would highly recommend you to join the game every 4 hours, you could set an alarm or whatever you wanna do, and just keep adding bait inside your and your alt slurs and I'm sure sooner or later you're going to catch one of the pets. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this far and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more fun videos like this in the future. Bye for now and I'll see you in my next video.